What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So another week has passed and in this series I pretty much just take a look at my mailbox to see how much gold I've made from a transmog only the last week. Now on this tune I only farm two things or post two things rather and that is craft the transmog and farm the transmog. Now, in my 0 to 10 million gold guide, the main focus on the first uh, chapters of the book is just steady ways of making gold. The best way you can start out on your journey to 10 million gold. Further on, like for further reading in the book, there's all the farms that I do in order to uh, farm transmog. But also the entire setup on how to get into uh, craft the transmog is included in the book with the spreadsheets and all of the, the fancy shit that you guys need in order to do what I'm doing in this video, clean up gold, literally printing gold. So it does require a lot of work up front and some gold invested up front. But once you have it set up, you will make gold without basically doing any work. You just got to recraft and repost. That's pretty much it. So all of this is included in the zero to 10 million gold guide. It also uh, gets updated every time there's a new patch coming to the game or even a brand new expansion to WoW. I'm updating this same exact book. So if you guys have already bought the book or you're planning on buying it now, don't be afraid. I've updated the book for one and a half years now and all updates are free. So whenever I update the book again, if you've already bought the book, you receive every single future updates for free. So uh, make sure to check it out using the link down below in description or pinned comments. And don't forget to type in the code Shadowlands for 50% off. So this tune is already at 8.2 million gold. And it hasn't been that long since uh, it was at zero when we did a reset. Because uh, I haven't... Uh, I took a break from doing these videos because... I'm not in a position where I need gold. I just think it's fun to farm. And when you have like 3,000 auctions like I do, it takes a while to post. So I'm, I'm not really focused on it. And that's definitely worth mentioning in this clean out that I would have made probably three times this amount of gold if I put a lot of focus on undercuts. If there's anyone in the comment section that's about to scroll down and type, student, you suck, man. I can't sell any transport. It's because there's two ways that you can deal with transmog. One of them is just having like a couple hundred items and doing constant undercut scanning. Making sure that you have always the cheapest auctions available in the auction house. It requires a lot of time. The second way that you make, can make gold is the lazy way. The way that I do it. When my auction house is pretty much so good. It has almost 3,000 items, 2,876 items worth 63 million gold when you have this many items you're bound to get sales because you got so many auctions and you just with that amount of auctions you're going to get sales i do however only post my transmog uh, once and i don't do any undercuts and when i post it i post it for 48 hours because i'm lazy it takes like two hours almost to post all my auctions so i want to do it uh as uh, as rarely as possible, right? Uh, but now we're going to take a look at the cleanout itself, and we're also uh, just mentioning the stuff worth mentioning. Like, there's no point in mentioning selling crafted glad gear for a couple hundred gold each. But I did sell some uh, virulent shoulders and a frozen shadowy robe, which is crafted for thirty thousand gold. Scrolling down, you can see all of these smaller sales. It really adds up. It really does. Uh, 10,000 gold for a Lunar Glow bow. That's the type of shit that people would just vendor because they don't do uh, any research on if the item is worth selling or not. I made a completely separate video on that, like how to determine if an item is worth posting on the auction house. There's so many people just scrapping shitty items. Uh, yeah, that's not good. That's an example of how bad my realm is right now. I saw some comments on that on the last cleanup video where people looked at specific items and they were like, student, your realm is dog shit. And it is. It wasn't when I moved to it. It's a full pop realm. When I moved to it, it was, it was decent. Prices were fair, 
with the amount of people that were playing on it. But there's so many people from EU that decides that watches me, that decides to play on the same realm as me because I was making all of these gold caps. And uh, it had to be because of the realm that I was playing on, right? So right now, there's a bunch of people uh, doing bunch of the same shit and this is a result of that the sulfur and hammer are selling for 23,000 gold that's a, a loss if i were to buy all of these materials to craft this weapon uh right now it would be a loss i do however have giant stockpiles of mats that i've been either farming or buying when they're really cheap so uh, i still profited from this but i could have just sold the mats and made more gold Sandstalker is also crafted, Graven Scale as well from Legion, uh, 180,000 gold in the first 100 auctions, we got 250 uh, sold auctions this week, and I usually make like five to 700,000 gold in a week doing uh, very little work, it, it really depends if I get big sales or not, right? And right here, we have a classic example of why my realm sucks. First made hat, someone bought out all of these because this is stupidly cheap. I've sold this first made hat, which is a specific item that drops from any mobs in STV. I've sold them for as high as 80,000 gold each. Probably an average price of like 25,000 gold each. But right now, oh my god, that's bad. Uh, 94,000 gold on these next 100 auctions. We're going to take a look at the total in the end. Black Dragon Scale selling uh, all of this crafted gear selling. That's sweet. Uh, another bow. People don't like bows. I love bow. Bows and shield. Man, that's where I make my gold. Not all my gold, but it makes good gold. But yeah, 94,000 gold on um, the next 100 auctions. I don't have that many auctions left. Uh, it doesn't look to be uh, the best clean out, but that's that's name of the game. Like that's how it goes. I want to be very transparent about this. Sometimes I sell transmog for uh, over a million gold in a week. Sometimes it's just a couple of hundred thousand gold in a week. Uh, uh, but that's decent though. The plume adorned headdress is that a rat of the lich? No, I mean a wad, a world drop epic. I think so. Reef walker handlers like. I've had so many videos where I've cleaned out thousands upon thousands of gold of Reef Walker items. And then I eventually released a video on that farm so people could see where I actually farm those items. Dark Letter Shoulder, 6,000 gold. Uh, Orb of Deception. Look at this. Orb of Deception. It's a toy from Classic. It, it should be so much more gold. <laughs> but overall, cleaning out those um, 150,000 gold. Let's see what the week ended at it's not it's not a really great week it ended at 427,000 gold so it's not too bad uh, i know i can't complain because uh, there's not a lot of people making that amount of gold uh, people are happy if they make half of that if they make a token in a week with transmog they're static uh, but i got a pretty good auction house as you guys saw so uh five to 700k is decent below 500k is kind of meh but then again, next week might be a million gold in a week. You never know. That, however, was the last of today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to watch gold making content. It really helps you out because a lot of the time I release stuff that you gotta be you gotta react quick to it if you want to get into the big gold. So make sure to do that. Subscribe down below. And of course. Don't forget to check out the 0 to 10 million gold guide. But that was really it though. So thank you all so much for watching. And I will see all of you guys back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, bye bye.